Hey guys, it's Reed Florine here, and I did a quick Google search for blogging infographic. Now you could do this with any niche out there. You know, if you're in the wedding niche, it could be like wedding infographic or dog training infographic, so on and so forth. And with that, you're gonna find different infographics online. You could either do it in Google image search, you could do it on Pinterest, you could just do it on the main Google search and you're gonna find a bunch of infographics in just about every niche market out there. So what I'm gonna do is I found this one, it's uh, the best web WordPress hosting providers on the planet. So let's check that one out. And I'm gonna to go to the actual web page for it so I can get the highest quality image for it. Okay. So what I'll do this has a lot of facts. What I love about this is, you know, someone spent time doing a bunch of facts on this, and I think they even referenced their facts down below when I looked. They did. So I can double check these things if I need to, but it gives Jarvis a ton of information. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use optical character recognition. This is the same stuff that you see, uh, like if you scanned in a document and then you edit the document in Word. So you're able to do this online as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the file I just downloaded. And it was this WordPress hosting. It's in English. I'm going to do it in uh, just a text file because I don't need a spreadsheet for this. And so it is going to read that image and put the content here. So here I've got a ton of the content. You know, it doesn't get it all perfect. There's a few, uh, you know, things where it doesn't read things you know, 100%, but it, it gets a lot of it, so I don't have to spend my time writing. So now I'm going to log in to Conversion AI, and then I'm going to do a new long form assistant. And this was the best web hosting providers, right? Uh, best, actually, let me just paste it. I think that's, I'm just going to paste the whole thing. Uh, Jarvis is only going to grab the first 600 characters. Let's see if it comes up with any. Uh, you know, headlines for this. Do that one. I'm gonna have it generate ideas. So it's gonna write my intro paragraph here. And I just grabbed one. I didn't really read any of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the whole thing on there. And so, you know, this has a ton of information. I can have it, um, you know, tweak things if I want, like, uh, you know, 40% of visitors abandon a website that takes more than three seconds to load. Okay, so let's... Um, you know, I could have it rephrase that. Or I can have it rephrase it again. Okay, I can also do it where I could make it more creative. So I think that one's going to be uh, less text it'll work with. So I'm going to make that more creative. So that's an option. Another thing you can do is, uh, you know, that's more of a fact. So I'm going to see what it writes in long output for the 40% of visitors abandon a website. Oh, getting a little bit of a an issue there. Let's try this again. Not still wants to grab some of the other things. So let's look at some of this other stuff.
think it's grabbing information from my description. That's what it's doing. Hold on, let me I take this information out, save. Um, that may be the better option to do it. Let's see. Interesting. I'm gonna try it again. The new document. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. I'm not going to use that one. I'm just going to say best web hosting providers on the planet. I'm not going to give it any more information. We'll write the intro here. We'll go with that one. And then I'm going to copy this information in. Let's see what it says about that fact. Now, see, I could double check that information, but I don't uh, necessarily need to do that right now. Let's grab this other element. So this was another fact. And let's see if it writes any more about the delay. Okay, so that's where we're taking some of the elements from the actual thing here. So, uh, you know, to grab this 40% and the one second um, delay. So, um, you know, you'd have to double check any numbers that it, you know, spits out. Like, I think this um, 227 per hour is probably going to be really high for a lot of websites. It'd be low for others, like for instance, Amazon, it would be way low for them. But for you know, you and me, that's um probably unlikely for, for most people. And you'd have to double check this number, like that infographic said seven percent. Um but I think you get the idea where you could take some of this information and have it expand on some of these uh points from the from the document. And you know. It may be better to just type in some of these things. It may be better to use the optical character recognition. It's something you're going to have to play with, but it gives you a good starting point, and it's a free way to, to grab that information and, and put it into a document so you can you know rephrase it, or you can expand on it, or you can give it as a starting point for Jarvis where it can write its own paragraph to go with it. You're going to have to pay a little attention to, to make sure that you're not uh, infringing on copyright, but it's really hard to plagiarize something where it's like a fact of, you know, X percent uh, increase in site speed, especially if you're sorting where you got that information. And you're going to have to look at the footnotes here, which it grabbed, but that's one way where you could write a very factually driven blog post by using Jarvis and someone else's infographic to give you a really good starting point and to feed Jarvis with really good information. So I hope that helped and I hope you found